This quick video covers ADA compliance for Microsoft Office Word using heading styles. I'll also cover modification of the heading styles and creating a table of contents. Let's get started. If you follow the three main steps in order to create a heading style on your document, you're going to first want to step one, make sure that you have each heading on its own line. My first heading, A World of Technology, is on its own line. Technology is on its own line. Technology changes is on its own line. Step number two says to select your text and select your heading style. On the Home tab, I can come up to my styles area. I can choose heading one, heading two, heading three, depending on how many headings I've used in the past will depend on how many headings I can view at the time. I'm going to select heading one. Now I'm going to select technology and make that a heading one style. Notice the navigation on the left side of my screen. As I start to add heading styles, it's going to add the navigation to the left side of my screen. This is what a reader would read to somebody who's using a reader. I'm going to select computers and make that a heading one style. And electronic components and make that a heading one style. Notice that now all of my headers now have a style and are listed in the navigation. Let's move on now to modification of the heading style. If your heading style is a style that you don't prefer, you can modify that with a few simple steps. Simply right click on top of the style, select modify. Choose the way in which you prefer to modify this. Maybe you'd like the style to have a smaller size. Maybe you would like for it not to be bold or to be bold. Maybe you'd also like to change the font color. Once you make those modifications, select OK, and it will make those changes for you. The last part of this video is creating a table of contents. A create a, creating a table of contents is really simple. It's just a few easy steps. Once you've created this navigation using the styles, to add a table of contents, you simply place your insertion point at the beginning of your document take yourself to the references tab choose table of contents select the built-in style that you prefer and your table of contents is deployed at that point you may also want to insert go to the insert tab and choose a page break so that your table of contents will be on a separate page from your actual document anytime you need to update that table of contents simply select it choose update table and update the entire table. Once you select OK, any modifications made at that point will be made within your full document.